Hey everyone, this is a station, senior stationery again, and today's review is gonna be on the Parker 75 Classic Sterling Silver Ballpoint and Pencil Set. Thank you, Mr. Lego Man. Now let's take a look at the presentation. If we notice, it has a sort of rough cardboard feel to the box, very elegant. Steel sides to the box, which makes it a interesting effect and premium feel to it this is like a fake leather like feel blue or rug surface which is pretty pretty nice and elegant and then voila we have this nice blue fabric that makes it really elegant and keeps it very nice I like how vintage presentation boxes really uh, took care uh, of the old pens and also they give a nice effect and give more class to the gift itself that's something I miss from pen makers today they make really disposable boxes and not that much keepsake boxes as these from before so let's take a look at the pen and pencil this is the Parker 75 classic if you're familiar the classic line uh, is a very slim line of pens this is their ballpoint and their pencil you can see the feather design of it on the arrow on the feathers we have the embossed logo on top both on the pencil and pen something that you don't see on the newer Parkers um, this is a CCLA sterling, sterling silver pens it's all quadric quadricular square pattern to it um, so it's very nice creepy area very nice and shiny these were very well kept barely used this has uh, 23 I believe 23 carat gold electroplated fittings here on the pencil we have the tip the pocket clip and the top button but this is not the clicker Contrary as one would imagine, this pencil actually works twisting. So there we go, as you can see the point. This is one of the vintage white 9mm or 0.9 uh, LEDs. And again, one will think that this is a clicking but it isn't. And if we pull out this top part, you'll see the eraser. And if I remove the eraser, we have a storage, or we have, well you might not see it here for the light, but you keep the extra LEDs inside so it's a very ingenious and well thought idea and on the case of the ballpoint yes it has a clicker makes a distinctive clicking sound like any Parker this one has the gold action only on the arrow clip and the clicker the bottom is uh, silver so it has no gold plated uh, uh, accent and if we take a look at the band let me show you I don't know if you can see that it's kind of hard to uh, zoom on the back on the front you might not see anything you just see a, a clean band of silver but on the back it says Parker on the low engrave and it says sterling cap barrel USA so this is one of the those where USA made sterling silver I don't know if you can appreciate the beauty, it's really shiny. I do polish it or try to polish it to keep it nice and uh, beautiful. Uh, these were barely used as you can appreciate. So it's a really lovely uh, antique and these work really perfectly well. They don't make them as they say as they used to. They have a distinctive special weight. Actually the pencil is a little more weighty than the pen. But they both look really beautiful and hopefully they should stay together and none should ever be lost <laughs> i hope but these are really really nice uh slim you know as back when in the 70s it was very popular the whole slim pen and pencil trend so i guess this is from that era uh researching this model was produced around 19 from 1963 to around 1993 so they did lasted a pretty long time 
and they are still fairly sought after by collectors. These are basically a must for any Parker enthusiast. But let's take a look how well do these write now. Here we have a piece of paper. I'll start first with the pencil, a little slight twist. Let's see. There we go. So let's take a look. This is the Parker. Parker 75 Classic Sterling Silver Cicele Made in USA I like the wide 0.9 uh, 0.9 millimeters leads They're very thicker They're very harder to break unlike newer 0.5 and 0.7 so for writing this is very comfortable and more uh, reliable. I miss the fact that they don't make pencils like this anymore. They just make very breakable leads. So that's kind of like a bummer for nowadays. Now let's take a look at the pen. This still has a real working vintage blue ink one. So let's take a look. This is the Parker. Oh, there we go. A little. There. This is the Parker. 75 uh, classic sterling silver made in USA this has a Parker refill ah sorry refill this one writes a little scratchy considering that it's an old refill but I can change for any other refills like or any other better refills such as like the Smith which is one of the smoothest refills available I just wanted to show you with the original all refill which I found this pen with so it's a really comfortable writer the whole Cicele pattern gives it for a good gripping area very elegant you don't see people with silver pens anymore. You usually see people with Mont Blancs or more uh, discreet or all black pens. And sometimes I think it should have been a very interesting period of time back when people used uh, for status a silver or a gold pen. So I personally tend to like more silver pens more than gold pens. And that's why I bought this one because it's a very beautiful one. So. I really hope you liked this review, please feel free to share any comments or experiences with your pens or if you like this review want to add up uh, to, this, uh, to this review. Uh, thank you again for watching and stay tuned for more reviews and subscribe for more uh, upcoming reviews. Thanks for watching, bye bye.